Hey Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn today. Show me more. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is somebody could be playing mind games um, while waiting. Seven of Pentacles here. This may be an indication of someone just observing and waiting for somebody to apologize or to want to reconcile. But, you know, Nine of Swords here. Well, first, somebody here just um, hasn't communicated yet. Yeah, in regards of wanting to reconcile. Um, again, when I say somebody or someone, that means it could be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here is in Rome first, so this is definitely a stuck energy. And Four of Cups here as well. Um, somebody may be pretending that they are keeping their options open or that they have many options, but actually they could still, they could still be waiting for you or but again, it could go vice versa. <clears throat> Excuse me. So with a messenger here, with page of cups and the five of ones in love first, definitely sense that there's somebody here is willing to apologize, wanting to apologize, and of course five of ones in love first, wanting to end this conflict. But it's sort of like because of the five of swords is in the right position, it feels like I let me wait as long as I can for this person to reach out first before I'm the first one to initiate this reconciliation, to initiate this communication uh, or to apologize first, okay? So we've got the five pentacles here and one person and the judgment. So judgment is a major kind of, right? No matter what, even the rule of fortune here is in love first. I feel like eventually it's unavoidable that somebody somebody here is going to reach out eventually and we'll try to hash things out. And with the five pentacles here and one first, we'll try to sort things out with you or wanting to return to you to reconcile for sure. Some of you, maybe you're separated from your person or that maybe not really speaking with each other right now or going through some issues. Yeah, let's see more. I feel like somebody could also be overindulging to make themselves feel feel better uh, with the Three of Swords here. It could be indulging in alcohol, cigarettes, anything. Um, hmm. But the Page of Swords here is in reverse. So somebody may be trying to forget you or trying to get through this hurt and pain. But I don't see it being successful at all. Maybe... maybe I think it's because of the page of swords here, because it's in love first, so that means they're still interested, they could still be spying on you. And the ten of wands here is in love first, so I feel like this is definitely an energy of somebody wishing as well for reconciliation. A lot of reconciliation cards here, to be honest, ten of cups, temperance, and also we've got the judgment here. Feels like eventually you and your person will again hash things out but i feel like it's not going to be easy um i feel like somebody is going to play hard to get <laughs> four of cups here um but the outcome itself i feel like there could be a chance for a successful reconciliation but then again um i definitely sense somebody playing hard to get i'm not gonna let this person back in that easily okay but the hope is there though it's, it feels like this person really really wants or you could again roles can be reversed but somebody here really wants to reconcile but doesn't want to initiate first um but really wanting to reconcile so when that person comes and want to reconcile i feel like they're gonna act like you know they don't want it because the four of cups here feels a bit like an acting because it's on the same row as the five of swords here so maybe acting like they don't want it they don't care um i'll still be it's four of cups is a very pouty energy as well somebody may not accept that offer of reconciliation that quickly i would say 
um, they will still be kind of pouty. <laughs> Again, it could be you or your person. Let's see more. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and what first. This is definitely you. We've got the Devil here and the Four Swords. So this may be an indication of you perhaps could have stopped talking to this person or investing in this person because of the devil here you feel like maybe this is the best thing to do to go about it um because the devil could also be somebody manipulative right but again the roles can be reversed you should know where you stand in this storyline i feel like four swords is the strategy right four swords is the strategy and it is to take a break uh, give themselves some space or give you some space either or and with the devil here again with the five of swords it feels a little bit manipulative as well or that maybe someone just feels that this is the best plan best strategy okay to get this person to return to them uh, let's see more four pentacles somebody is still holding on to this connection two swords here and one first yeah, there's this realization as well that I'm seeing that someone knows that this person is the one that I want to be with, want to spend the rest of my life with this person. Ten of cups here, right? This is somebody's wish here. But, and also, Nine of Pentacles and one first, understanding that they need you or that maybe you feel like you need them either or. But there's definitely some codependency here, uh, whether it's in, it's, it's in terms of money, emotions, or just somebody feeling like, I need to be with this person because, you know, the bond of the devil here, it's really hard to disconnect. So somebody here may be feeling that it's really hard to disconnect from this connection because in some way, shape or form, there's a sense of um, necessity that uh, needing to be with this person, needing to be in this connection, maybe the necessity has something to do with how they feel or it could be because of um, money again or it could be children, it could be anything, yeah. But um for pentacles for me someone is definitely holding still holding onto this connection i don't see somebody wanting to leave this connection even though it may appear to it may appear so because of the ten of wands here in my first it may appear that somebody has given up uh but because of the page of swords here in my first to me this indicates that they may appear that they have given up, but actually they haven't because, again, it's right next to the devil here as well. And Nine of Cups um, it can be a bit of a snickering energy that I'm getting here as well, uh, especially when it's beneath the Five of Swords here. So it's like there's this energy of somebody feeling that if I do this, if I act like I don't care, if I act like I have given up on this connection, then maybe I'll get what I want, which is the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Swords, as in it could be some deception or manipulation, playing mind games, right? Then this is maybe this, uh, maybe if I play this game this way, then I'm going to get this Ten of Pentacles with this person. Reconciliation, happily ever after, right? So we got the Ten of Swords here. Ten of Swords indicates um, it could be an ending. Maybe you you and your person are, um, are currently separated. If not, then it may indicate a lot of hurt and pain. Uh, or both of you could be going through some issues right now. And we've also got the Tower here. So this may also mean an ending for some of you. It could be, but may not always mean that, right? Tower is something very abrupt. Um, a sudden change or some, something that is unexpected here. But with the Five of Cups here for me beneath the tower here there's an energy of somebody awakened to the fact that they need this person they want this person right they find it really hard to disconnect from this person but it feels like with the queen of wands in one first you could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo can be any sign seeing capricorn um pisces cancer scorpio sag can be any sign all right we all could embody any of these energies but once somebody has stopped paying attention to this person this is when you know after some time with the two of swords perhaps the two of swords was in an upright position before this maybe there was blocked communication or very little communication but now but because of that i feel like the tower moment here may be an indication of somebody just awakened to the fact that you know what i actually need this person i want this person to be in my life but three of wands you're just waiting for the right time to um to heal this connection or waiting for the right time to communicate because someone here is still really hurt and we've got the two of cups here so for me this indicates 
a reconciliation or it could be somebody just missing you missing being with you it feels like a longing energy as well with the three of wands above the two of cups so i'm sensing it has more to do with somebody you're missing somebody longing for this person and for some of you you could be in a long distance relationship because the three of wands can indicate some sort of distance as well mm. somebody here could be waiting to be reunited or waiting to see somebody here okay we've got the united ones and love verse again you could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo the hermit here is a love verse and the hierophant and love verse for me this may be an indication of um somebody whom is a non-conformist conformist non-conformist so somebody i feel also another thing i'm getting maybe they are younger than you are or that there could be some sort of an age gap or personality wise somebody does not like to conform conform okay hence they have this energy with the five of swords like you know i need to have that upper hand i know better like a bit of a stubborn energy they but also stubborn but pretty energy as well <laughs> that's what i'm getting especially if you're dealing with somebody younger than you are they may still need time to grow up uh, but i feel like the hierophant here in love verse they're on their way to learning i feel and with the hermit in love verse i definitely sense somebody is coming out of their hermit mode and finally realizing here that oh my god i may have lost this person for real and i'm just waiting for the right moment to reach out but I'm gonna try and wait as long as I can with the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, you know, it just feels like, again, like that staring competition. Let's see who blinks first, right? I've, I've said this before in some of my other readings. So it's can, it can be a little bit childish uh, because your person may appear as a page um unless roles are being reversed there are two pages here already and we've got the nine of wands here in one verse so somebody here may be quite immature and wanting to see you know who is gonna give in first but somebody's heart is broken here ten of swords here somebody here is feeling really devastated even when there is this uh, sense of awakening understanding that you know someone needs to salvage this connection here uh, but still not opening up yet four pentacles here just keeping tabs with a page of a uh, swords here in my verse thinking maybe if i don't invest or if i appear that i don't invest in this connection or if i appear uninterested or if i'm not calling this person not replying to the messages then maybe i'll get maybe i'll get things to go my way instead all right Earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. I just posted it uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, I'll leave you with two of my latest videos. So this is the first time that I've actually uh, posted uh, two videos within a week and a half. Usually it's just one video a month or two videos a month. But um, check it out if you want to. Uh, I'm in London right now, so I had a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun. Plus, I work a lot as well, so that's a good balance. But check out that vlog, any of those videos on the screen right now if you want to. And also, I'll leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. Um, but they're still valid. They're valid readings because they're still new so don't let it go to waste just click on it scroll the way down look for your sign there could be some other different type of messages for you over there all right and also oh i just saw one three three one check out your angel number if you want to you can you can just google it and uh, last but not least i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below all right take care bye